to. And my mic is on. <laughs> All right, we're going live here. Okay, let's flick the switch. Hey folks, uh, welcome back to the Dev Twitch stream. I'm Nick Taylor. I'm a senior software engineer at Forum. Forum is a software that powers Dev. I'm Christina Gorton. I'm the open source community manager at Forum. And we have a special guest today. We have Ben Halpern here. Ben, tell us about yourself. Contributed the first ever code to Forum back when it was uh, Rails new on my computer and uh, started the Practical Dev Twitter account a little bit before that and helped grow this company to you know where it is, helping millions of developers um, get together and, and share, share what they've learned and uh, learn from others. And awesome. I'm excited to chat about any of that. Yeah, so we're going to kind of talk about, I think, our plan, Nick, you can correct me if I'm wrong, is talk a little bit more about the history of kind of dev and where that came from. And then we'll be asking you questions about forum. And then if anyone in the chat has questions, please uh, put them in and I will ask those questions to Ben for you. Yeah, cool, cool. That sounds good. Yeah, so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get into a bit of the history just to provide some context to, to get to what forum is and uh, as it is today. Um, so, so like Ben was saying, like you were saying, Ben, uh, this was, it, it was, this was on the dev discuss last night. I was on there briefly and it was about side oh, projects yeah. on the dev discuss and, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you were there like, yeah, I did this little side project, you know, which is now dev. Um, so I guess uh, aside from rails.new, uh, do you want to talk a bit about like where dev came from, like in your head, aside from just it being what you thought at the time was a small, you know, Rails project <laughs> at home. Yeah, so I'll start with some, you know, the motivations, like why start any project. Um, so I would say uh, the biggest, you know, fundamental motivation for starting the whole thing was uh, a sense that certain parts of the developer ecosystem, I thought, um, you know, weren't necessarily, you know, being done uh, in a way that was empathetic to everyone who needed the type of help in a certain type of way. There was a lot of stubborn rigidity from folks who'd been in the space a while. There's a lot of help for total newbies, but yeah. for anybody like, in their career, trying to put things together, trying to you know accomplish what they need to do. Um, there was plenty of places people went to do this: Twitter, Medium, GitHub, etc. Um, and and not that I thought I could like unilaterally solve any of this, and we've far from just <laughs> solved the big picture stuff with Dev. Yeah, but I. I got the sense that there was an opportunity to be helpful in this space. And that's that's the big thing. So like uh, there was a chance to do something that could be helpful. And I wanted to start small, but I wanted to start with a long term commitment. Um, I wanted to just take this on and keep working on it until I could you know, help as many people as possible. Um, and my big commitment was that I wasn't going to give up on it. Uh, I told myself I'd keep up, keep it up for 10 years. And if in 10 years, nobody cared at all, I would, I would give it up and I'd move on to something else. Um, but also that meant that I wasn't going to invest all my time into it until, yeah. you know, until yeah. I saw a little bit of feedback until it, it proved that it was being helpful in some ways. And yeah, there's been a lot of different little steps along the journey, but it was all kind of to try to really try to just be helpful. No, I want to touch on something there. I'm glad you mentioned the like, uh, you know, giving it time and you thought, okay, 10 years. How did you come up with like, <laughs> I'm going to give this 10 years. We had <laughs> Vinny from Diversify Tech on here and she talked also about this, how she had like a bunch of ideas and she was like, I'm, I, I plan to stick with them until I saw something had to go. And I'm just wondering where like that mentality comes from and like, how did you decide, okay, 10 years? Like people don't even think five years ahead most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> or what they had. For yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so I'd been working with Peter, one of the other co-founders of what is now Forum. Jess and Peter are the 
other executives in our organization. And I'd already been working um, with Peter as the the CTO of a company he had started initially for student textbook exchange and pivoted into um, uh, online tutoring, um, which uh, which was you know going fine and that was that was that was doing great uh, moving along. Um, but I also got the sense that um, I wasn't personally doing anything that was long term minded. Like I was mm-hmm. happy uh, working on. Um, Argo Tutors, which is what the name of our operation was. Um, I was I was pretty content, but feeling like there wasn't anything long term, you know, I was doing at all. Um, and uh, and just in my personality, that kind of felt like there was something missing. Like I just didn't have anything going on. I felt like you know to think to sink my teeth into. Like I didn't want to put too much of my spare time into anything because I was. Con- committed to the work at hand, my job, like uh, I didn't yeah. want to get distracted by something that was a little much smaller than what we were doing at work. Um, but I, um, uh, so yeah, there was that interest in doing something long term. And then there was this realization of like looking back on past projects, like why if I had a project in the past, was I no longer working on it? Like yeah. I rarely made the conscious decision, like this is the day I'm closing this down. Usually it sort of fades away. Um, and there was like some realization about some past projects, which I felt actually like, like I'm not bad at launching stuff and do like, this is a skill I have. Like, I I don't like consider myself an expert in like launching or products or like whatever, like if I am, it's like, it's, I try to like prove it out through traction or whatever. I don't, I don't like subscribe to this as a area of my expertise in and of itself. But, um, so I've always been good at this, but um despite that i didn't have it much to show for it and um i was just like reflecting on past projects and and i i felt like the uh, ultimate um failure uh in any of it was to try to press to do too much too fast um which is still a part of my personality i'm constantly having to 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 deal with so like just because I had one realization, like I'm, you know, like uh, our colleagues here will see me trying to press to do too much too fast or have, yeah, you know, ambitions too big too early or whatever. Um, so, uh, but it was a realization that that was like how things had kind of gone south in the past. Like I had a, um, I had like a sports nutrition website when I was in college and I, I used to play sports and um, it was like really doing well and stuff. Um, and uh, I tried to like make it a bigger thing. I was kind of paranoid that Amazon was such a big player that like they would crush me if I didn't like get everything perfect, um, which was like the right idea, but totally wrong because this was like 12 years ago. Like they didn't crush, like I kind of, I don't know. I feel like I had the sense that Amazon was a big deal even at the time, yeah. but there was ample opportunity to just do the thing at a good pace and not feel like I was racing fucking Amazon. Oh, sorry about swearing, but that's That's okay. I'll I'll um, lie and tell you that we censor it, but we don't. (laughs) So, uh, this, this sort of delusion that like you have to beat Amazon to have success in a project was kind of something I, I didn't consciously no, I was doing, but like just looking back, I was like, why did I even think in those terms? Like, why did I think I needed to be perfect in order to like get this thing right? Because it was actually pretty successful. Like, no one would think it wasn't successful, but it just like I tried to make it bigger, and then I it was just too much to handle. And I was in college, so it was actually like I had a hard time sustaining it as a side thing while also like keeping up my courses and stuff. So like it's yeah. oh. And I, I pushed it to be successful enough that it deserved to be expanded. I had like an, inter, you know, like I, I was actually at one point in talks with uh, GNC to have it in, acquired. Okay. Nice. Like uh, that's a <laughs> that's, and, that's a big deal. Yeah. Um, yeah. And despite that, the whole this, despite it being important enough to be in that phase, it it actually ended up just kind of fading away because I sort of like tried to do too much and like didn't have time and my course load. And it's like, I, it, it's looking back, it was like, 
what what was going on so <laughs> that was all just like a a, lot, a real cathartic moment about just like what the purpose of a project was like i needed something i really cared about and was committed to to seeing through and that's really been what what this is and all right we call our company forum now dev is the most big public facing thing we do and um you know this thing you know feel like we, we it has legs and it's evolved like as needed yeah yeah i i, th I think uh i, I remember there's, there's a couple of anecdotes for me. I'll, I'll post one in the chat, but I remember I joined, I have the link here. I, I joined Dev in 2017 and there obviously wasn't as many users at that time because this comment I'm about to paste is like comment 493, I think, or, or I don't know if that's no. it. Uh, but anyways, this is just Ben. If you want to check it out, Ben's just saying hello, fellow Canadian. <laughs> so I I found it kind of funny and and just kind of nice. And this is like one of the things I always liked about the community. And I continue to do this myself too. I like engaging with the community. You know, I, mm -hmm. I'll do like a I do a kind of like what did you learn this week post every week, and and people just you know say hey I did this or did that, and I, I always respond with like. Uh, f funny uh, animated gifs, which it's not, it's not automated. It's me actually putting them in. So uh, in case people think it's a robot doing it, uh, but that was like one of the first things that I really enjoyed about the feel of Dev. And then mm -hmm. I've, I can't remember what I think. I forget the exact date, but at some point, uh, and you can maybe go into a bit more about this, Ben, but. Uh, just posted on dev at one point that the project was still private but we were looking for contributors and i filled out the form and then i actually ended up being the first contributor outside of the core team contributing to the code base while it was still private but what what was like the aha moment for you to to decide like we should make this open source and like what were your you know, why did you decide to go that route? I mean, I'm happy you are. I love working in open source. So uh, I'm happy buddy. you are. I have a job now because. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Side note. Thank you for employing us. <laughs> um, yeah. So the aha moment for going open source, like, uh, I guess there's like a few different threads, but they all kind of twine together to, to make like, oh, darn, this is a pretty good decision. And Commercial open source these days is as hot a field as anything in tech. Um, we're still doing it a little bit differently in that, like, we build something directly for users. I think there's, like, uh, you know, obviously um, there's been news about Elasticsearch and Amazon and their fight over licensing and stuff. Like, open source in business is a thing. Um, but we also, didn't do it because of that. So like all, all that is to say, like we didn't decide to go open source because it was we anticipated it would be like something that like the tech community would find like investable or valuable or anything like that. Um, it was uh, it was really the notion that like a few things like one, um, the most important stuff we were doing, uh, especially at the time, was not the code. It was the community. It was our approach. It was what we knew how to do and how to bring people together. And if that's what's special, like why hog the code? Um, however, uh, additionally, so more more to that. Um, every single step of the way where we found an opportunity to, you know, let more folks do more stuff and really act like a community like that was better so like when i first launched dev it was going to be you know um a place where i could publish posts other people could but there would be like you know um, a tight editorial process i was going to really try to kind of like find just the right stuff and and then i i really realized just like oh like let's like Let's let people, you know, like let's let's let anybody post, and we'll we'll really focus on safety and moderation and uh, improvements, such that we can like find the right stuff for people, and that continues to be part of the process. But like, anytime we've found the opportunity to, you know, like 
empower more folks in any capacity it's been better and it's been it's been tough like i have you know my opinions and like want to have control over things um you know where i can but like in the end uh it's always been um, the best choice to like let more people into the tent and, and distribute more value. And I also felt like, you know, a few years ago, I thought, what's the best way for this to fail? Well, that's like, if all the code is out there and everything we do is out there for anyone to use. And um, if we're gonna succeed, it's that's awesome. Like, uh, but if we're gonna fail, the best way to fail is to go out in a, you know, in a blaze of, of free code for everybody. Um, yeah. If they want to try to pick it up from where we left off, uh, and um, and but you know, all in all, like we we just felt like it was an opportunity to do something new and special. Like uh, we are in the space of community, social media, you know, online interactions with folks, and um, there's something to that idea that it's transparent. We can't do anything pretty much without like a heavy amount of scrutiny. Um, so one time when we were submitting to the uh, Apple App Store, they rejected us because um, we had a link on the homepage to like, um, in a way to like a, a paid thing we were doing. And Apple has like strict rules about like how you can make payments in a, in a native app. And we were like submitting something which was still had the web view and stuff. So So we had to like, quickly remove that link just because it violated the terms. Um, and when we did that, someone from the community like said like, hey, is this program just vanishing? Like any news here? And and we had to clarify like, oh no, like this one link place didn't fit Apple's terms of service. And uh, so it can't be on the homepage. Um, but yeah, like this is, still here like no further choice than this like this isn't an indication of anything bigger and that really represents what i hope we can have in terms of scrutiny for every important choice we ever make like sure maybe we can't like always explain every single detail although like christina i think you've been doing a really great job at like improving our capacity to just like loop people in on what's going on as we do it um, yeah. And I think our new RFC process that we have internally, which I think we'll continue to build on, is, is going to make us way better at all of this stuff. But no matter how good or bad we do any of this, everything we do is open to scrutiny. Everything we do, like, we have to own up to. Like, people can point to the exact commit where we, where we messed up, where we violated trust, where we, you know, disgraced the community or, or anything like that. And I... I I just really appreciate that there's that um, sense of duty that's built into doing open source. And uh, I just think that's like how stuff like this has to work. Like mm -hmm. uh, open source um, as, you know, at the operating system level, I think has been really important for the evolution of computing. Um, the fact that it's not, you know, adhering to strictly Microsoft is, is not what people have to do. It's really created a revolution in server computing. And um, I hope by distributing our code via forum, we can really allow the best community leaders to operate the code and to um, to to you know run the communities. And it, it's not just like, you know, wholly owned and operated by us. Like we should live we, dev should continue to work based on how we are able to run and manage a community and how we're able to like collaboratively improve the tools to do that. It shouldn't run, you know, its success shouldn't be because we have this stock of code that's better than other people's code. We actually want to share all the code and then like really succeed by running a community and improving our moderation processes and learning things that we can contribute back into the tools and things like that. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's definitely a... <laughs> <laughs> that was, there's definitely a lot in there. The the interesting thing too is like a lot of the the work uh, that we did over the past year was uh, generalizing the code base. So uh, mm -hmm. like we I can't remember what the exact date was when we officially moved the repository to the forum uh, organization and then renamed a forum. But uh, prior to that, well, no, I think we still did some work after that. But just a lot of 
generalization work in the sense that like stuff that was like dev specific, like for example, a hard coded yo at dev.to for uh, email support, for example, uh, there was a lot of a great work that went into generalize that. And we've been able to, with all that generalization work, be able to start launching uh, form cloud, uh, which uh, you can maybe talk a bit more about that, Ben, but we've, we've already launched, launched a, a bunch of successful communities. And it's, I don't know, I find it cool personally, just one from a developer standpoint, I, I think it's cool seeing code I wrote being consumed by, by other people. It's just, it's just a nice feeling, you know, <laughs> but at the same time, it's also just cool seeing these new communities starting to pop up. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if, yeah, if you want to just maybe dig into a bit about forum or forum cloud uh, or your thoughts on all that. Yeah. Um, I'll dig into, uh, all of that. So first of all, the process to really, you know, rip off the bandaid and go generalize that was, was really awesome. Like the, the transition from dev to what became forum was a matter of not devoting so many resources that we all of a sudden stop working on dev and just like oh forum all the way because like that would be crazy we have all of this you know purpose and momentum in, in dev um we also run yeah. code newbie um this is the important stuff we do that impacts people's lives um but we found it really important that our business model was built on something a little bit bigger so we didn't have to maximize Dev and Code Newbie to, you know, get as many eyeballs as possible that will later monetize. Uh, we really feel like we have the opportunity to help, you know, build community software and help host it for as many people as possible, and work directly with people who want to host forums and and have a customer relationship, not have you know all our users be customers, et cetera. So. It was super important. We couldn't do it all at once, but once we started getting that momentum, we could really lean into it. And uh, one underrated part about the difficulty of this was naming forum. Like, I don't know <laughs> if people hard. realize how hard it is. <laughs> oh, naming, naming. Yeah. Um, so it's forum with an E, F-O-R-E-M. And I think it's been pretty successful in that sense. I feel like People on our team say it with confidence. They don't. It's not weird. Uh, dev has always like had issues with like what it's called. Is it Dev? Is it Dev.to? Is it Dev2? Or whatever. So it's nice dev. to just have something with a name everyone knows. Yeah, yeah. practical Dev, of course. Um, and uh, but so anyway, we're uh, we're here with Form now, and 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 the 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 place of the project is really that the code is is in a really good place so that we can now start supporting communities and 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 such um the the state of our hosting infrastructure is that we have to move a little bit more slow and steady than people would like a little bit more beta in some of this stuff because we don't have the um full scale automation for orchestrating infinite forums for folks yeah. but of course Forum shouldn't all be run by us. We have Forum Cloud. We really want to be very good hosts of Forum, which is actually, you know, has to be a skill of ours because uh, sysadmin work, hosting, uh, it's easier said than done. And not everyone, most people are, are going to want good hosting services, and that's what we want to build. Um, and that's what we have been providing for the early partners. But um, we also, because we don't have our own system stack, you know, fully in stable, uh, out of beta, like yeah. uh, we don't want to be giving people instructions for something that's going to change too often in terms of the hosting instructions. So um, we're in a bit of a holding pattern where um, uh, we will work towards having um, better instructions for self-hosting so more folks can host for them in more ways and, and without having to play too many guessing games or have too much change out from under them. Um, we will continue to uh, rework uh, our hosting infrastructure to move from like what is now stable for hosting, but a proof of concept in terms of how we we scale and, and get people signed up like in an automated way because we can't, we can't uh, you know, we, we can't just go from from where we are now, which is like a couple dozen instances that exist in the world to um, everyone who's on the list. We have 
a waiting list that's probably going to hit a thousand soon. People really want the forums. Everyone who's followed Dev is really excited that they get to like consume all of this software and 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 every change going forward. And we're just kind of speeding up our improvements. Um, so it's all pretty cool. And the state of Forum Cloud is that um, later this year we'll be in stable release. Along the way, we'll continue a slow and steady um, launch of of uh, of partners based on how we're able to let people out of, off of the waiting list. And importantly, we'll become um, a little bit clearer about all of this on, say, the forum.com landing page. Right now, there's not much going on there because we are early. We, we haven't really had the, uh, a, a great amount of confidence in, in you know, saying exactly when some of this is going to be available. So it's kind of been on the back burner. Um, However, this is all being, uh, it's all kind of happening in time. It's cool. Um, some of our early partners and their success has been pretty cool. Um, Comsor is a company that runs uh, a forum called Community Club. It's at the.community.club. Okay. And um, it's cool. Like, they're, uh, they're another startup, and I feel like they're building so much around forum in this way. And and they're a startup that is their their customers are people who run communities, um, okay. and the fact that they've chosen Forum and they're having success with it has been really validating. And uh, and we've launched our second forum, the Code Newbie Forum, which is a space deliberately only for newbies. You know, and anybody wants to help newbies, of course. But but there's there's no you know need to kind of sift through something that's too advanced to find the newbie related content. It will also help us highlight some of the more advanced stuff on dev, whereas, you know, trying to always, you know, be everything for everyone um, is not necessarily what we want to be. We don't want to like have dev consume all software content. We love the idea that there's some specialization out there, allow people to go deeper in some areas, whether it's deeper in the needs of newbies or whether it's like uh, a special space for you know, more SRE folks, observability, you know, any opportunity to allow like the platform to go a little deeper and not just, you know, one big platform that has to serve everything. Um, yeah. Although, you know, it's a mix and we're letting a lot of, we're letting every flower bloom and it's, it's, a, it's exciting, but um, the, uh, yeah. So in the long run, it's just, it's just really cool to see, uh, to see where Forum is going. Yeah. No, Definitely. There's... Do you have any uh, current, like, fav maybe we shouldn't pick favorites, favorite forums out there? <laughs> <laughs> well, there is yeah. the, the Ben Halpern community. <laughs> oh, true. <laughs> um, so community.benhalpern.com, we've been using it as, like, a... That's like one of the earliest forums that went into existence just as a proof of concept. And we've been using it internally just as a place to test random stuff um, in a production environment where we, we didn't want to deploy to dev and we didn't necessarily want to deploy to other things. That just kind of evolved into one of our Canary forums. Um, but I love the idea and seriousness of just having my own forum instead of a blog because it kind of reminds me of the classic like Facebook wall. Like I'll post there when I need to just about stuff that's personally important to me and might be important to other people, but doesn't necessarily fit a, uh, a category otherwise. And I'm excited the idea that people can kind of post on my forum if they have a question for me that they'd like me to answer in public. And um, it hasn't, we like, we just use it as a test forum. It hasn't, actually work this way. But um, in the back of my mind, I kind of feel like this is something I really want to do for real. Um, and and I want everyone to do this. Like, run your own forum, uh, have the forums play nicely together so you can kind of post to your own, but also just cross post to dev if you want to like, if you want to do that in the most like, just simplest way where like the canonical one is your forum. There's a, you know, you post to dev. Um, and I think it's actually a lot more fun than static blogging. Like, um, if if we can accomplish some of this this way, and uh, the notion that like everyone gets to sort of um, you know manage their space, like uh, however strictly or 
or openly they 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 feel like it and uh and i think that's just like a lot more fun than a, a world where the only places you build community are are you know twitter and even even twitch itself it's just like yeah. is the center is the central unit supposed to be like streaming video or is the central unit like the people and their concerns i kind of feel like the video should come to them like the uh yeah. the the collaboration should should come to where the people want to meet and whether that's on dev or on their own forums or or wherever you know um uh, i'm really excited about just like the best version of how this can all come together it kind of reminds me, I don't know if you know the term of like the digital gardens. We're going to have Maggie Appleton who who does stuff with Egghead on here at some point. She does a lot with that, but it's it's kind of this sense of like she doesn't just have a blog. She has this place where she can kind of I think people have blogs and they have this like, well, I just now have to talk about tech or I just have which I think yeah, people yeah. see on Twitter a lot of times too. Whereas these digital gardens can be like anything. Like you have your central place and you talk about all kinds of stuff and they also like link them to other people's digital gardens and stuff. So that's what it kind of like reminded me of. Yeah. Yeah, kind of like the uh, old yeah. school web rings to some degree, I guess maybe. Yeah. 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 I mean, and uh, there's a there's a, a newish forum called FlowState, FlowState.to. Oh, yeah. Um, and like Nick, you and I have both published there on in content that doesn't make sense on dev or anywhere else, really. It's yeah. like um, FlowState's like a place to to post about like uh, health and fitness and like progress and just like and and that uh, element which applies to really anyone, and especially developers, kind of need a focus on their 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 health and well being because um, we do a lot of sitting around at our computers and um, but my my Twitter feed is is mostly folks who want my opinions on software, um, and Dev is the same way. And I'm really happy that Dev exists for me to be very explicit about that. But um, Twitter is kind of like, you know, trying to be all things for everyone. And I like don't necessarily want to be just about software. And in fact, like um, the Super Bowl is coming up. Like I love, I you know, I can't wait to 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 watch that game just from a pure enjoyment perspective, like not like personal interest, not like, not from a values perspective, not from a like, um, uh, you know, like from a culture or well being or anything. I just like, like I'm excited as a fan to like watch this, this game that happens every year. It's like fun. Um, and I don't necessarily want to talk to anybody about that on Twitter because I don't want to like try to make a like I don't want to try to make too much of a point about the bigger picture of what the Super Bowl like means for our society necessarily. Although if I were to talk about it on Twitter, that is the approach I would take because I think that's like what Twitter is for in a sense. It's like putting stuff into the greater context. Um but I also kind of just want a space to um, be able to talk about that, but also just be able to talk about just like um, can uh, you know can the can the Tampa Bay Bucks like defend Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs? And um, it's there's a certain sense that I really want to be free to follow my different interests on the internet um, if they're if they're if they're healthy and good and and and. There's a whole group of people who would love, 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 love to hear what I have to say about Patrick Mahomes versus the Bucks defense. Um, but most of my Twitter followers couldn't care less. Like they, and I, I don't want to like, I don't want to bother people with my those opinions if they don't care. And it's a whole like, you know, certain uh, technical problem social problem just like enjoyment online like and, and ultimately doing it all in a, in a place where where people feel safe they feel safe from harassment and abuse and, and things like that and all the work we're doing to forum is to try to make like some of those things just happen in a in a safe and pleasant way for everybody yeah definitely. yeah there's a um yeah a question? we're gonna ask you a question yeah um, so I, I mentioned that we do have this, but uh, someone in the chat wanted to know, are there private forms deployed? I see how uh, that'd be great internal tool for teams. And I mentioned we do have one. I didn't know if you want to talk a little bit about it and 
potential use for that. Yeah, it's it's it seems awesome. We are very active on our on our uh, internal forum, and uh, at a high level, the purpose of it is to de-silo certain conversations which actually need to happen in the stream. Um, to, to get people to weigh in on things where it can stick around as a sort of knowledge base for how the next conversation happens. Um, I was just talking to a colleague uh, about how starting a conversation on our internal forum that really got the ball moving in a direction that's going to impact the future of the product was like the highlight of their their week, you know, like that they were able to kind of start this conversation and have it evolve in a way that like we can we can never get done on 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 GitHub or Slack or anything, because like you kind of need the tool to be there to let the conversation happen as needed. Um, it needs to be open ended. It needs to be flexible. It needs to, you know, let people get notified and wait in when they need to. Um, and it's really validating that it's helped us, you know, so much. Of course, it's just one more tool in our arsenal. So like you never want to say like it's the perfect tool and like we have to like you know, buy into it. I think like we have to have a certain trust that it's that it actually works. It's kind of hard to believe your own software works effectively. You kind of have to like <laughs> hope people like it. And like to like it yourself is is quite is quite something. And and um, it was it was it was really awesome that our team like took the leap and tried something like because yeah these. Private forums are an awesome complement to public forums. It's an entirely different space. We get to like have certain discussions that are not like private in nature. Like nothing, I don't think we've had any conversations in forum we felt like had to stay totally private, but it's a it's a chance to have that like first initial conversation about the future in a way where we don't try to, we 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 don't have to try to fill in anybody from the internet who might be coming with the broader context. Yeah. Like we have the context and we get to openly have these discussions and and have them in the best way and internal teams can can use this uh, as much as they want and and part of the inspiration for this was um, Lisa our uh, design our uh, lead product designer um, used to work at Facebook and really liked their internal Facebook as a pr productivity tool and thought that we could accomplish something similar with Forum but Forum being open source Forum being like flexible and configurable and and stuff like that uh it's actually probably one of the coolest use cases the thing is a private forum is private so like it's hard for us to tell to show people how it works like they can see dev they can see what it's like for a big public one to work and they can see yeah. certain things but there's something special about private ones that you actually like you can't like get to know until you know it and we're not trying to like as we mentioned, we only have a few dozen forums live. Some of them are private, and the private ones you can't even really talk about. It's like, you know, I, I want to make sure that they would be comfortable if there's a private one that is in the world. And like, um, but uh, yeah, it's it's such a cool place for this to go, and I'm really happy that we're letting it go this way as needed. And there's a lot of tools we need to make it better for to make ten people forums work while also having million person forums work and, and have that like have the the tools such that these can exist in parallel and they they still like the the amount of resources each one requires is appropriate to the size because you know uh there's it's it's fun software like scaling up scaling down it's like it's a challenge but it's 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 fun and it's really fun to do it in the open yeah, I feel like it's valuable as far as like communication amongst the team too, because I'm like I'm thinking like in Slack and stuff, like you said, it, it, things get lost really quick. And our our team isn't like huge, like we maybe could manage it, but I've been on teams before that were like bigger, and you never felt like you had any say in anything because the conversations were happening all the time. They would go really quick, and so having a place where uh, you can go back async and just like talk to each other and leave comments and and go from there it's been really i think valuable for the team yeah and i also find it's just easier to surface information you can i mean you can search in slack or other kinds of applications like slack but because it's in like threads and stuff it, you know it, it i just find it hard to grok when i want to just read something um the, the other thing i find interesting in a good way that we do with 
uh, our internal forum is it's also a way for us to dog food the actual software. And, you know, if there's something that annoys yeah. us, there's pro it's probably <laughs> annoying other people. So it's kind of like a, it's a good way to dog food things too, I think, so. Yeah, so we're currently working on, um, on at mansion autocomplete in the comment box, which is something we knew we wanted to do for a while. Um, but the, the slight, the refactoring it was going to take to like start the project has always been um, a little bit daunting. And I really feel like having our own internal forum where we constantly feel like it's a little bit too hard just to mention someone so they get a notification um, has, uh, has, has really helped push that product feature along in a way that it was hard. We knew it existed, but I think that th there was that slight bit of um, uh, of pain on our own parts that really helped uh, surface that as something we knew we needed to work on. Um, and we're becoming more deliberate with our product decision making now such that um, I think we'll be better at getting to those types of missing features uh, at the right pace in general. But um, in terms of the, the nudge that helped at this point, that's like a, an example where us using our own software deliberately um, has definitely been a, a good choice uh, for for the whole project. I'm excited about this as someone who's now doing forum.dev a lot, and I'm used to it, like <laughs> GitHub just being able to like at <laughs> mention someone, and I'm like keep trying to mention people on the team, and I'm like nope, can't do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, men mentions mentions and comments work if you get the username correct. Yeah. <laughs> but there's the expectation is that you type that at symbol and you're gonna like you, as long as you're close enough. Like so. Yeah. I've I've made a point to try to get the username Ben on every forum I can. <laughs> like if um so I'm Ben everywhere. But some people just like you know have a different name in different places. But like you kind of know like close enough to what their actual username is. But um, for the app mentioned to work, you got to get it right. And uh, it's it's a component of usability. We knew there was never a debate on should this exist. It was obvious that that's the case. But um, the prioritization of it, like on dev, because dev is, 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 is big, it, it really like kind of, um, lets the original author like have the stage of a, of a certain post and reaches reach a lot of people there's a certain kind of discussion dynamic that like that isn't like so natural to dev but is totally natural to forum itself but it, it's really a matter of like how big the community is what its purpose is is it about accomplishing you know discussions around a certain open source project or is it yeah. around a certain passion or is it around like the work that needs to be done from a productivity perspective or is it uh yeah or is it a local network a town a, a university whatever like whatever the future holds and i really feel like forum can 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 be the thing we use you know all the time i think as long as long as we uh get the story right on mobile i think forum is going to be a really big deal um but uh, you you can't do any of that without like just really elegant tooling that kind of just makes sense. Yeah. Speaking of mobile, did you want to talk about anything like coming up with that or where where you're pushing for for mobile and form? Uh, we have like probably you know 15 more minutes or more if we want to talk, but uh, I think that's a good place to kind of talk because I see it a lot now. Uh, yeah. As someone who's in the repo, I see mobile mentioned a lot more lately. <laughs> so, yeah. Don't know if you want to. So about. yeah, mobile is kind of one of these things that because dev was for devs, it's allowed to be a little bit more secondary. Um, not that people haven't always wanted a mobile app, a really effective one, and we do have a dev app for iOS and Android. It's just been more of a secondary concern. So some of those usability concerns like we haven't wanted to just like say hey everybody you've got to be on on the mobile app too because we're we're comfortable with people mostly visiting on the web the web is such a brilliant platform it's it's really great but um 
uh, mobile is important for everyone's lives. And, and if I want to have, if, if I want to interact with certain people in my, my life, it's going to happen phone to phone, um, mm -hmm. no matter what. Yeah. And that's, uh, and we're all pretty excited about that. We're not anti-mobile, we're not pro desktop, um, but the evolution of dev, uh, was one of these things which can be a little desktop first, but, um, we really need to evolve in a more mobile friendly way. And, um, the overall architecture of our of the mobile product for Forum is that there is an open source um, uh, SDK of sorts that can plug into any mobile app. So uh, any forum can plug into any mobile app. So uh, if that company Comsor, which their their product is not the forum itself, um, but it's a component of like their whole like product offering is that they have this community for their customers and their their overall ecosystem. Um, if they if they had a mobile app, they could have their forum in their mobile app using the SDK. Um, and the SDK is sort of a progressive enhancement on top of the web. So it uses some web views, some native uh, some native bridges and things like that. Um, but that will evolve over time. I imagine we might get like more and more of the interface might go fully native and it might, you know, but some of it should stay uh, web for the flexibility of the forum and its creators. Um, but fundamentally the usability is really improving all the time. And uh, so we'll continue to support at least for the short term, like the, the dev uh, standalone mobile app, but we're also, um, uh, building a forum app, which is essentially a browser between all the forums. It means that that native bridge that you get from like in the mobile experience gets automatically applied to all the forums you're browsing. Uh, it's really slick. I think it's going to make it really fun to be a part of many forums. It's an opportunity to kind of go deep on an interest, a passion, or a work element, um, while also being kind of a swipe away from like that next interest or, or passion or anything. And I think the I think the um, the way the forum ecosystem is kind of playing out is that it, it, it really is an opportunity for people to um, uh, go deliberately deeper, I think, like into things that matter to them, as opposed to being like strictly like, uh, you know, a time suck. Um, yeah. So we, we always feel like we want to be be developing software like that. And, and so, yeah, the forum for mobile, which will come um, in the pretty near future, it's gonna it's gonna land definitely before like forum cloud general avail general availability. So uh, folks will be able to say use dev and the code newbie forum like at the same time in one mobile app. Um, and I think that's gonna be fun for folks who wanna you know take part in code newbie most of the time, but then jump into dev when they wanna like kind of be a little bit more challenged um, if they're newbies. Um, and likewise, for, for, for devs who want to spend more time in dev, but want to help out in code maybe when they can and, and things like that. Um, there's, uh, and then also like developers who want to pay attention to flow state to help them, you know, stay healthy, stay fit, you know, things like that. I think it's going to be really cool. And, and I have a million ideas for new forums, but can't skip the line on, in terms of forum <laughs> cloud availability. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I I have the the forum mobile app installed. I I guess I guess it is only internal right now, but uh, uh, I I really enjoy using it because I am on a, a bunch of forums. I also have like our internal forum on there, and I just find like the it, it sounds silly, but because they're well, maybe it doesn't sound silly, but the fact that they're all available in that one app instead of me going to a browser and then switching the URL and stuff. I, I know that sounds like it's not hard work to do that, obviously, but I just like being in the context of, okay, let me go to the next thing. And uh, I, I just enjoy that experience. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, of course. And the way, I mean, the way forum is built, it's really important that it's, people get to run their own forums on their own domains. It's their own, you know, decisions about like some of what they do with their communities. No central entity owns everyone's data. It's it's really important for us to build things in a way that we are not the authoritarians for the universe, um, no matter how popular forum becomes. Um, but just like how things like Chrome or Firefox or Netscape Navigator 
or um, Safari or anything that came at any point. Um, uh, the open web is 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 great to consume with a tool that makes it easier to consume. And um, the forum app is a really specifically purposed browser, essentially. Um, it doesn't you know, unilaterally own all the content, but it gets to bring it together in a, in a really easy to consume way. And um, I think it's like, you know, we're on Discord right now, like the form factor is the same, like, um, you know, multiple communities through one experience. Um, the difference between this and forum, though, is that forum um, forum is is operated by by everyone. It's it's not really run by Discord or, you know, it's not run by forum. It's we have to be um, we have to foster the ongoing development and make good decisions and, and be helpful and uh, and work with with the bigger and bigger community as people launch more forums. And we have to you know do so with care, but also with with a certain velocity so that we don't like leave people hanging on, on things like app mentions for, for forever. <laughs> um, but uh, when it comes together and as it starts to bloom and, and as it starts to get that much bigger, um, it's uh, it's going to be really, really, really special that uh, that it's going to be it's a collaboration between us and other community leaders. And it's not just, you know, our own entity for us to consume all the value like uh, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. I, I'm just picturing somebody typing a comment or writing in their blog post on, on dev or whatever, and they, they, they type at and they're like, maybe it'll happen today. Maybe it'll happen today. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I, I, I'm actually super excited for that feature because there's a lot of interesting so, technical stuff for it. Yeah, and that's all you, Nick. Like I am, it's. Oh. Yeah, you're still there. You're still here. Uh, I think I, uh, I glitched for a sec. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, if that's going to come together, it's, it's all like, you know, you. Katie, Suzanne, with help from Lisa and Pavo, and uh, and you know anybody else who then like comes in and, and cleans up any of the code after we ship it or anything like that. It's going to be a real team effort, and um, uh, I'm excited to just see the app mentions come together. Uh, I'm deliberately trying to get less involved in the critical path on 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 as much of this as we can. You know, I know I'm like passionate about like <laughs> the ongoing software development process, but um, I'm also like, uh, you know, really trying to to delegate and get out of a lot of these. So I'm I'm gonna have I'm just waiting to see that happen. I have no idea when it's gonna happen because it's sort of more of just it's the front end team, it's the software team, it's it's the the planning process, it's it's Molly and Vidahi and Lisa and and. Uh, and, and Michael and and Rhymes and everybody and and Josh and it's you know and Raguana and and I could name the whole team I got to stop somewhere but yeah yeah um, I, was, I was gonna say should I let him just keep all talking? Of us. <laughs> it's, yeah uh, it's, a, it's a test it's name every a, yeah but I get I get pretty excited because there was a time when I was like involved in every single feature and this is one I'm like definitely not gonna be involved in at all and um and I'm I'm probably gonna be like pretty much not involved in like pretty much anything at some point um. In the not too distant future, like I'll be here for help, but um, but everything's just kind of really catching momentum, and um, I'm just happy to even have that much more time myself for like posting on Dev and being a part of the forum ecosystem, and I'm excited to start more forums, and it's it's really fun to see um, our software development process gain momentum, and for the reality of forum cloud to take shape and for this forum app to really be something we're actually like close to the finish line on at least you know finish line for actually yeah. launching like that's only really day one really but um yeah, yeah. uh software development is like is a painstaking process sometimes and um it, it's cool to to see things when they happen well maybe with that extra time you get back you can uh, you can work on that supplement store again uh, get that gnc thing going again uh, no 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 hey. i i am done with side projects for a long 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 time cool i mean um, i said yeah. uh, i said i'd give this 10 years and we're 6 years in so like in yeah. in 4 years like 
you know, there's, um, there's an opportunity for me to like go do something else, but I just need to be, um, helpful for, uh, you know, the folks on our team to get their jobs done. And, um, it's really, it's really fun to, to not be in the critical path for, for everything and to, and to help this happen in such a, a good evolutionary way with the way we've built the team and the way the whole community, uh, is behind so much of this. Um, it's, yeah, it's pretty cool. And I, uh, I, as you can tell, I'm always excited to talk about this, uh, until I, <laughs> until I lose my voice. <laughs> Well, well, I think that's yeah. a good segue. We definitely want Ben to come on again at some point uh, because we think he has lots of great things to talk about and we would like to talk to him again. I think we have hit about that hour mark. So, uh, Nick, I don't know if you have any other questions you want to ask uh, real quick. If not, then we can kind of wrap things up from here. Um, yeah, you're I was going to say, me, but I think you're still there. Go ahead. Yeah, no, I'm still here. The stream's moving fine. Uh, <laughs> No questions for now, but I, I think it definitely would be great to have you back, Ben. And we didn't really touch on anything technical. And I know you're, you're starting to distance a bit away from the technical stuff a bit, but uh, there's a ton of stuff that you started or put in place or, or contribute to. I think it would be great to talk about that in a, in a whole other session at some point. Like mm -hmm. you were just to briefly mention what you were saying at some point during the stream, you were talking about like a forum for 10 users or n number of users and, and that ties into like us being able to scale the application a lot of work's gone into that and uh, i think stuff like that would be really interesting for folks to talk about uh that we could definitely touch upon on uh, another stream for sure yeah yeah and in some ways it's a matter of like unscaling the application it's like what can we rip out because it's only needed at a big scale yeah um but yeah i'm really excited about and if if anything um if I'm less in the weeds, technically, I'm going to need to get out some of this energy occasionally by like, <laughs> you know, talking through it on a stream like this. So uh, I might I might actually be begging to come on. I'm so going to be coding one it. day on a stream because I never code anymore. And Nick has has me coding one day. So this is. Yeah, yeah. We're, I, I, me and Christina are going to pair on the stream at one point, too. So that'll be fun. Yeah. She's so like, yeah, oh. I uh, I'm, a, I'm excited, excited for all this. And um, every time there's like you know, this broader topic, you know, comes up in the world and stuff. And, and, uh, and some folks are, are plugged into what we're doing. Um, and, you know, maybe a few folks have a forum launch, but it's like, it's really just, it takes, it takes some time and effort to get anything off the ground, including the forum. And it's, it's gonna be fun for us to build more tools to help people discover forums and help them, you know, get over that chicken egg story of like, how do you actually build community online and things like that. Um, yeah. but, uh, the, this is something people are always talking about all the time online. And it's actually like the closer we get to be a little bit more generally available, the easier it is to get up and running with forum and things like that. And it's, we're not forever away from that. Um, the closer we are, the, the easier it is to be impatient and be like, ah, oh, like, like, like we, we really, like, we really want to get this, this, this mobile app, like fully out the door and stuff. But, um. I'm just excited that we're we have so much in our rear view and that there's so much good stuff we're gonna get done this year. And uh and I think like this next decade is is gonna be heavily influenced by forum across the whole internet. Yeah, I'm I'm super pumped for twenty twenty one to do all kinds of stuff. So uh just wanna say thanks again, Ben, for coming on the stream. I I know you you probably have to get off to a meeting or something, but really appreciate you taking the time to speak with the community about forum and a bit of the history of dev and how things all came to you. Um, yeah. Uh, any, anything else from you, Christina, or I guess we'll wrap things up or. Nope. That's good. Again, thank you. We appreciate it. And we're definitely have been on again <laughs> another time, maybe for a more technical thing. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Thanks everybody.